Good afternoon, Red Bank. The boys basketball team are the champions of the district. On Tuesday night, the Lions traveled to East Ridge and beat the Pioneers to clinch first place and the number one seed in the upcoming district tournament. Despite the Lions having a lot of good teams over the years, this is the first time they've been district champions in 15 years. And this is just one of the stories you'll see on today's edition of the Main News. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Keena Mulligan. Please stand for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Fewer and fewer Red Bank students are standing up for the Pledge of Allegiance. This is a subject that many have a strong opinion about. We'll hear what you have to say coming up next. The senior basketball players and cheerleaders were honored at our last regular season home game. All the highlights from the senior night are coming up in sports. And with a day of love, there's just three days away. A lot of the guys around campus don't have a Valentine. Our Aussie Altman wanted to find out why. Why are you single on Valentine's Day? Who said I was single? I got like 20 girlfriends and like five baby mamas too. The story is coming up a little later in the show. The wrestling team is in action tomorrow at Hickson. It's the re regional individual tournament, and the top finishers will have a chance to go state. Details are coming up in sports. And the spring sports kick off on Monday. What can the players expect weather-wise? Your complete weather forecast is coming up a little later in the show. It's Friday, February 11th, and you're watching the main news. Talk to some of the older teachers and they'll tell you it wasn't that many years ago that every student would stand for the morning Pledge of Allegiance, but in recent years, less and less students are standing for the pledge. It's a subject that generates strong opinions no matter how you feel about the pledge. Our Jessica Garcia has a story. Good morning. I'm Keena Mulligan. Please stand for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. In recent years, many teachers have seen a steady decline with students' participation in the Pledge of Allegiance. Based on the decision of West Virginia Board of Education v. Burnett, students have the right not to engage in certain speech as to enforce the freedom of religion and speech. However, different states have different laws regarding the recital of the Pledge of Allegiance. Curious about pledge participation in our high school, we went to interview some of our fellow students and teachers to see their opinion. Um, I feel that it's kind of a disservice to both uh, our flag, the nation, and my military service. Um, I just feel like students should remember that, yes, it is a piece of cloth, but it represents so much more than just themselves. Right. I mean, I understand people have different feelings about standing for the pledge, but when it all comes down to it, I do believe that they are representing both the nation and the flag by standing as well as those who have fallen in service of making sure that our flag still flies above the United States of America. To be honest, I feel like it should not be um, 
required because I know some teachers require you to stand for it, and I personally believe that that's not necessary if you don't want to pledge. You don't want to pledge, like, come on. Um, after I've realized how America is very hypocritical when it comes to some of its historical material, such as slavery, all that stuff, but I won't get into that. The Pledge of Allegiance, I feel like, has become way more politicized than it ever has been. When I was in school, it was just something that you did without even thinking about. Um, now, as a teacher, I like to give my students the choice to either stand up and do the Pledge of Allegiance or kind of sit down respectfully. I really love the morning time, the moment of silence on the Pledge of Allegiance. For me, it's just a time to get my mind right. So the only thing I encourage students to do is spend that time kind of getting ready for the day. Um, but I do feel like it's become something that it was not when I was in school. The biggest sporting event on the planet is happening this weekend. Super Bowl 56 will be played in Los Angeles this coming Sunday. The Cincinnati Bengals will be taking on the Los Angeles Rams for the NFL championship. And it seems like everyone from the avid football fan to the casual observer all have an opinion on who's going to win the game. Our at Ozzy Alleman brave the hallways to find out who you'll be cheering for on Sunday. So who won the Super Bowl? Uh, Rams. Rams, thank you, thank you. That's easy. Who? Sorry, I see. Easy, easy, easy. So who won the Super Bowl? Oh uh, man, the Rams, of course. So, so who's, won, who's won the Super Bowl? Uh, Bengals. Bengals? Yeah. Bengals or Rams? Rams. Rams, all right. So, so who's won the Super Bowl? Uh, T. Higgins. What? T. Higgins. All right, all right. Get it, get it, get it. So my boy. So who won the Super Bowl? The Rams. The Rams? Yeah, they win the Rams. Appreciate that. Who won the Super Bowl? Oh, Joe Shicey all the way, number nine, you know what I mean? Who do you think's winning the Super Bowl? Um, okay, so I don't really know the teams, but I do know that there's a team from California in it. So since I'm from California, I'm gonna say they are. The Rams. The Rams, yeah. I, I think it's gonna be um, the Bengals. And why? I just think they're uh, they're put together the way they're playing right now. They're playing really solid, and I think the quarterback play is really really dynamic. I mean, he's a he's a winner. He's proven he's won, he's won in college, and he's proven to be a winner now. Now I'm not really counting out the Rams, but I think the Bengals. I got a feeling the Bengals will win. Okay. Bengals or Rams? Who winning? Man, you know the Rams. I got the Rams. So who's winning the Super Bowl? Bengals or Rams? Bengals. I don't see. Bengals. So who's winning the Super Bowl, Bengals or Rams? Bengals. So who's winning the Super Bowl, Bengals or Rams? Rams. Who's winning the Super Bowl, Bengals or Rams? Bengals. The Rams. Why? I don't watch football. This sounds about right. So who's going to win the Super Bowl, the Bengals or Rams? I think the Bengals will. Why? Well, I like them better. Who's going to win the Super Bowl, the Bengals or the Rams? The Bengals are going to win. Why? Because Joe Burrow's cold. Can you do me a little gritty? Well, what's cooler than winning the Super Bowl? How about winning the district basketball championship? The boys basketball team are the district champs and the number one seed heading into the postseason. Let's get the details as we head on over to sports. The boys basketball team knew what they had to do. This past Tuesday night, if they could go on to the road and beat East Ridge, the Lions would clinch their first district title since 2007. Red Bank came out like gangbusters and jumped out to a 24-10 lead after one quarter. And they never looked back. The Lions cruised to a 70-44 victory over the Pioneers. Red Bank will be the number one seed heading into the district tournament, which starts on Tuesday at East Hamilton High School. 
So make your plans for a road trip to support your Lions as they try to make it to state. There are several seniors that are leading the way for the Lions. Last week, those seniors were honored at the final home game of the year. It was all part of senior night. The upcoming graduates from the girls, from the boys, and from the cheerleaders all were recognized and our cameras were there for all the highlights. Congrats to all the seniors and congrats to the district champion boys. Let's go Big Blue. The wrestling team has been practicing for tomorrow's individuals. The top finishers will take the first steps toward going to state. The tourney will be held all day tomorrow at Hickson. Let's go Lions. And as the winter sports are winding down, the spring sports are about to crank it up. Baseball, softball, boys soccer, tennis, and track will all start their seasons on Monday. They'll have about a month to practice before the games begin. That wraps it up for sports. Back to you. You can tell that we're ready for Valentine's Day. Guys and girls just have three days to get a gift for the special person in their lives. Well, our Aussie Alaman noticed something odd around the campus. It seemed like most of the guys did not have a Valentine, so Aussie was determined to find out why. <laughs> Remember, we were, all, we were all just players in Aussie's world. So why you single on Valentine's Day? Cause I get too many girls. Stop the cap. <laughs> you know, um, really, really cause I ain't know which one to take. Really. But you know, I want all the Red Bank females to like, call me. Hey, yeah. So why you single on Valentine's Day, man? I can't even say what I want to say, but these girls ain't nothing. Girls ain't nothing? Girls ain't nothing. Girls ain't nothing. Girls ain't nothing. My boy, why are you single on Valentine's Day? Because uh, I don't really talk to anyone. Why are you single on Valentine's Day? I'm not single. I thought you were single. No, I got, I got you. 
Hey, yo. Hey, 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 hey. Solo, 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 solo. Hey. Hey, I'm here with William. So why you sing on Valentine's Day? Uh, because I mean, it's just it's fun to just watch people love each other and you just be there crying in the corner. I don't know. <laughs> my man Jay, my man Jay, why are you single on Valentine's Day? I can't get a girl. You can't get a girl? No. Hey, my boy, my boy, boy. Why are you single on Valentine's Day? Who said I was single? I got like 20 girlfriends and like five baby mamas too. No cap. Why are you single on Valentine's Day? Because you haven't asked me out yet. He's correct. He is correct. This is a couple's edition. What are y'all doing on Valentine's Day? I ain't got a Valentine's. Wasn't that your girl? Nah. Why not? Because she keep playing. Oh, she can play with you? Yes. Get her. Why are y'all single on Valentine's Day? Because I'm that guy and I do what I want to do. I ain't even single, my boy. You're not single? Five girlfriend. What was that? I got about five girlfriends. Alright, thanks for watching the new episode of Oz World. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, even if you don't have a Valentine, you can still get some Valentine candy, and that's what counts. No doubt. Well, we've even had some dry weather all this week. Will it continue into next week? Let's get the scoop as we head on over to weather. It's almost time to break up the beach towels and the sun, suntan lotion. We'll be unreasonably warm today. Today's high is expected to reach a balmly 68 degrees. This is after a morning low of 41 degrees. And we'll have partly cloudy skies all day. But enjoy it today. By tomorrow, the colder temperatures will be back. As we look at the five-day forecast, tomorrow's high is only expected to reach 54. And by Sunday, the high will be only 44 degrees. But for Valentine's Day and the opening of spring sports, the temperature will be heading back up. By next Wednesday, we, will, we could be back in the 60s and we'll continue to be dry the next the next significant chance of rain will be until next Thursday. So get outside today and enjoy the springtime weather. Back to you. Well, that's going to wrap up our show. Congrats to the boys basketball team on their district title. Give a player a high five today. And good luck to the wrestlers in the region. Make us proud. Have a great weekend. Peace out, Red Bank. Bye. Bye.